Hello Aquarius, this is Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world, when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I want to look at your terascopes for the month of March 2022. This is for your sun sign, rising sign, or if your moon is in Aquarius, please stop by and have a look. It is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Um, you'd need a personal one-on-one -on -one reading to do that, and I, and I don't do those at this time. So this is really a general reading. So if it resonates, claim it. If not, move on. Um, because a general reading will not suit by its very nature. General will not suit everybody. Okay, let's. So I'm pulling from the Black Moon Astrology cards and also the Llewellyn Tarot. Let's take a look at Aquarius at your energy. What might be coming up for you in the month of March? What am I seeing here? It's like a cone shape. Um, is this a spire, a spire? You know, like the top of a building. Why am I seeing that? Okay, so work. There's work here. Uh, work is at the forefront for you in March 2022, or for some Aquarians, this is the need to. Uh, well, it's kind of like the Eight of Pentacles card. You've got a certain skill set and you'll be called upon to use that. I'm not sure what that spire is, the top of a building. So if that means something to somebody, it's almost like a an older type building. We don't build those sort of things now. So um, I'm not sure what that is, but there's a message there for somebody. Um, all right, so we've got work already as a theme, having to work hard, being called upon for the skill set that you you alone have, Aquarius. Okay, so that's for some Aquarians. Obviously, it's not for all. There are other, are other Aquarians that may have be, have retired, but of course, our work never stops, does it? It uh, it is always there for um, the community, for our families. Okay, there could be travel. I just heard there could be travel for some Aquarians in March 2022. We'll see if that comes up in the cards. Let's pull from the Black Moon Astrology cards, please, for Aquarius 2022. Aquarius 2022. Air element communicating. Yeah, I just see those that are... You know whether they're working in the community or in the workforce there's an there's an accent here on talking to people it's like you'll be doing that in march um this is the throat chakra so communicating of course aquarius is that uh it is is an air element it is about thoughts words um and in some way as i said you're a bit of a master at this so i feel that's what you'll be doing a lot of in in March, but I also see I'm also attracted to water as well. So it could be the way that you're communicating in March has an emotional type of element to it. And you know, Aquarius is the water bearer, so the water bearer, so catching that that water in the in the atmosphere, in the air. And delivering that down, uh, down to to people. So, the water bearer, healing, healing communication. Now we have fire element desire. Now, you know, now now we've gone from air to to fire, and uh, desire uh, again, you know, talks about what you're passionate about. Uh, so you'll be talking in some way about what matters to you. And Mercury retrograde, reinvention, you know, we see Mercury retrograde as causing a hell of a lot of problems. But urban myths develop, uh, you know, when they're simple and the idea can catch on. And yes, some people can experience uh, delays in, uh, you know, communication. But this is talking about reinvention. So things going backward. Things regressing allow some kind of breakthrough energy. I'm pretty uh, fascinated by these cards, Aquarius. And we have the North Node, Life's Purpose. If you've got access to your natal chart, have a look at where your North Node is because there is a there is something around here that what wherever you are and whatever you're doing in March, you're meant to do it. 
Um, it is part of your destiny. And we have the ninth house, faith. Oh, dear, I'm really resonating with these cards for you, Aquarius. You could have been through quite a heavy situation in the recent past. This ninth house is about Sagittarius energy. Uh, and it's about Jupiter energy as well. And it is about destiny, fate and having faith. So whatever situation emerges for you in March, have faith that all will be well. Uh, you have a role to play. One more. And we've got the 10th house, the world, um, the world card. So again, you were meant to. You are meant to be doing whatever you're doing in March and it will be quite important in some way, whether that's a conversation with a friend, whether it's helping out a friend, whether it's uh, in the workplace, helping others. I just get this accent on helping others and we've got the sun spirit. You Aquarius help those through clarifying, bringing clarity and that higher thinking to others. So March is pretty important uh, in whatever work you're doing, whether that be in the community, counselling relatives, supporting relatives, supporting friendships, or you know, in the in the community or the or the workplace. There's something really important about what you'll be doing in March. Okay, let's drill down a bit to the Llewellyn Classic Tarot and let's have a look at what is coming up there for Aquarius in March. Aquarius, you know, we're all part of the universe and you understand that more than anybody. You understand the work that needs to be done, um, but you also understand the change, that Uranus energy, what needs to change and how. So that makes you pretty, pretty special. We have the King of uh, Pentacles there. So... So this could be through business or in the workplace. Um, let's take a look. The king is wise. The king is wise about security, stability, financial stability. Aquarius, what's coming up for Aquarius in Aquarius in March 2020? Yeah. Getting that Ace of Swords there, so a lot of communication. Now we've got the Emperor card, um, the Emperor card control, being in a position of authority. What's crossing you, Nine of Cups? You are you are going to get that wish fulfillment. Some of you again will be drawn upon, and and your wisdom or what you've got to say will not will not go unheard. We have the Ace of Cups, so that again there's an emotional new start here so what does that nine of cups represent it represents a new start a new emotional start here these are good cards Aquarius we have justice coming into play in uh in the past something is coming back into balance the eight of wands communication again lots of it in march speedy things happening really really quickly we have the three of wands again this is, can be uh travel it can be also waiting for something to come in what are you waiting for it is something good um but we've got the chariot things just I just see a lot of speed happening here for you Aquarius in in March now somebody's going to give uh, provide you with an offer this can be an apology it can be uh, it can be an offer of something that's what is coming in here for you Aquarius if anybody has wronged you in any way they're coming back to offer you something offer you the knight of cups holds uh, that cup of love holds that cup of um you know something in your high for your highest good and it's coming in really quickly hopes and fears you know strength strength and the outcome is the king of cups so now we have the knight of cups and the king of cups something is going to be offered for to you this is wisdom this is maturity i do believe in this reading you are the king of cups and we've got the two of pentacles you could have been 
walking a tightrope lately, but there's a decision for you to make. And wow, I have the Queen of Cups. Something will be revealed to you. So now I have the Knight, the Queen, the King. There's something around them and there's an emotional decision, something that involves your emotions. But these are good cards with that Ace. The Ace, the Knight, the King, the Queen of Cups. Something will go in your favour, Aquarius. And we've got hope here, the star card. So if things aren't working out the way you want at the moment, have faith. Have faith because they will. We've both got both the Queen and the King of Swords. Now we've got your energy. We have the Five of Swords uh, in the underlying energy as well. Something has challenged you in the past, hence the Justice card. But man, if I can just say that, man, it is, it's all going your way in March. Um, so if you feel like you've been walking a bit of a tightrope, mm -mm. You've got something really big going your way in March, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in. All the best, my friends. I'll be back again with another reading soon. Bye for now.